they've just been super great and awesome. All right. Wow, we're right. starting on FD. Going straight into uh, on FD. And, I'm really surprised and I was wrong. We are seeing a Falco in play. Yeah. Um. I don't know why Emo Dino and Peanut didn't ban this. That seems kind of strange to me. Just because, yeah, like, uh, the individual matchup, Fox versus Falco is good for Fox on this stage. Fox versus Sheik is good on this stage. I don't, I don't understand it. But yeah. I mean, in teams, there's that kind of thing just matters are, less. Yeah, in teams, there's a lot of X factor, but at the same time, you really, you got to take into account some of your one v one knowledge. Yeah, because I mean, like, because that was almost a dead Falco right there, and that is a dead Sheik, so. That was an unsafe ledge dash. Not that he could have done much else. That's, that's a dead fox. Oh no! It is not quite dead. Yeah, fox is a zombie. He just never dies. Yeah, yeah so blue team tried to take center stage while the boxes were covered rather than pushing the advantage. Yeah, and I mean, that's definitely a smart play sometimes. Yeah, I don't know if they could have done much trying to edge the box, honestly. But yeah, especially because his teammate was, was right there, there and kind of ready to protect any would-be yeah. edge guarders. Yeah, even if they went together, uh, the synergy between Falco and Chief right there wouldn't have been very high. That was oh, I thought that dash attack was going to kill yeah. off the clock. Can we talk about how SG was at 190%? Yeah. It's still at 190% right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. 202. He just died at 202. Jeez. 1 2 1 2. Yeah, right now, uh, SG and Brown Shirt are just doing a better job of holding on to their stocks. Yeah. They're being. I, I just want to say that they're being more cautious in some ways. They're not just going in with these kind of unsafe approaches. Because like, I see a lot of uh, Emo Dino trying to combo in the thick of things. Yeah. Which, I get it, you're Falco, you combo, it's what you do. Yeah, and I mean, this is like part of the reason that like, a lot of people, and I don't, I think it's, ooh, I like the idea, I like the idea. Yeah. Um, why a lot of people say, and I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people, people say that Falco's not a good team's character. And while I agree that to, he's definitely not as good in teams as he is in singles. You need to work with, you need to think differently in teams. Yeah, and also like, you really, really, really have to use the few tools and like, few good team tools that you can yeah. have. Like, uh, laser to save teammates. Yeah. And really, I mean... That's, yeah, it's a huge best deal. The, and the thing is, like, it doesn't really work that well with his team composition because of so, the, because of how Sheik's recovery works. Yeah, Sheik's recovery just kind of works completely independently of the laser. Yeah, you would have to, like the Sheik would have to go straight up for it to like really kind of work. Yeah, which can help sometimes, but yeah, it, it's it, not it that feels good. more like a corner case than a use. Yeah, I agree. All right, and so that was a pretty yeah. pretty decisive victory. I don't think that. A more passive Falco that just puts out the strong hitboxes like we were talking about yep. earlier yep. is the way to go. And uh, closes out stocks when they have the opportunity to do so. Yeah. Like, obviously, if someone's off stage, then you combo and get that percent. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, Joe, what did you do? All right. There's not going to be commentary for us for a minute here. Cause, um, we're going to be doing the button Joseph for Joseph Brosnahan <laughs> just completely destroyed everything. Yeah. Shout outs to him. <laughs> oh, it's back. Alright. Alright, I, okay. I didn't have the button look. Ooh. Luckily, he manages to fumble his way to fixing it. <laughs> Just kidding. Shout out to Joe. He's done a good job yeah. TOing and uh, also taking down the stream. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing he's been doing. <laughs> Alrighty, starting. This is where I, I mean, this I would have expected, expected it. Yeah, one. I completely agree. Like, and I, I don't know why they didn't do Dreamlands. I guess they're kind of scared of the camp, maybe. Yeah, the camp could be an issue there. But I feel like Sheik on Dreamland in doubles is just a really big threat. Yeah, Sheik on Dreamland is wrong. Like, back here? Ooh. Yeah. I'm not sure why That's a dead bird. I'm not sure why we've got a tag on a Sheik though. Um. I, he per, he does it personally just to help. He he feels that he gets more benefit out of being e he's easily able to keep track of himself than yeah. like his recovery getting read a little bit harder. Okay, fair enough. Because I mean, in teams, 
Yeah, in teams, in teams the recovery reading is less of a less of a big deal. Yeah, I mean cool. it, it. It still matters when it happens, but a lot of the times if you're having to recover, it's yeah. it's already a bad situation. That's actually oh, I thought he was gonna be trapped under uh, battlefield right yeah. there. Yeah. But it was I nice, feel like uh, you shouldn't have gone for the second back there. there. Could have just rolled up. Ooh. With an attack. Pino with the opposite attack there. It's pretty sick. Yeah. See, that was a situation where going for the, the like one two hit was good for Falco. Ooh, good up smash. That's wow. just like the situational awareness. You see the character moving towards you. You press you up on that yellow stick. And you just go for it. But yeah, anyways. So right now it looks fairly even. We got one almost dead fox. But as we know, some of these foxes stay alive forever. Yeah, yep. I mean, with a strong recovery and a teammate helping you get back, you can really just, you can live a long time in doubles. That yeah. said, you can also just be in a really bad situation where you get yeah. comboed really hard and die. It happens. And here, oh, that, good save for the Falco there. <laughs> Too bad it didn't work out in the end. Yep. Yeah. It is definitely more of a problem on Battlefield with getting the duck under the stage. Because Fox only has like one golden angle that gets him back under it sometimes. Anyway, yeah. Kind so of a two one on ones. Yeah. There were two one on ones. Now there's a little bit of a scuffle in the middle. Trying to find their way back down. Yeah, I definitely oh. feel like. Ooh, that was a. That could have been a, a, a quick kill on Falco there. Yeah, that was about to be a huge shine. Yeah. And Fox. Yeah. Oh, nice ooh. team combo. Way to um, be there, Pinophobia, with that second back air. Yep. Ooh, that dash attack not quite reaching. It was a good look, but. Uh, no, I think that was a good shot. Like, that was the best yeah. he could do. See, okay, so he, he maybe he could have dropped down and saved him with like, his an up air or Firefox or something. Yeah. But the fact is, he's he risking a 0% stock to go off stage yeah. without, like, potentially with, with no, no, no recovery except drop B, and that's just not worth it. I the dash attack was a good mix between an option that might work and safety. Yeah. I think it was. I think it was the only thing I would have looked at as an option, honestly. Like going off stage at zero right there is just too much space. Yeah, I agree. Especially as Falco, if you're Puff, sure, why not? Yeah. You if you're Peach, sure, why not? You can do whatever you want as Puff. Puff goes where Puff wants. All right. So we have another two stock, one stock victory. Yeah. Huh, I, I kind of, I want them to go to Dreamlands. But actually, you know, I want to see uh, Emo Dino go back to Fox. I think that's the right play. But yeah, I don't think the Falco is working. Like I think he did better than in the first game. Yeah, but, but that might have just been a factor of not being on FD. I, yeah, like, it's he true. just play, adjusted his playstyle to the stage more than he did his opponents. But yeah, I. I don't know them well enough to be certain of that, though. So. They're, see, one of the things I like about their team is they really do take the time to stop and think about things. Yeah. I mean, that's... It's smart. The best I thing mean, you it's just like you, you talk about, hey, what worked, what didn't work, what do we need to do more of? Yeah, because... What stage do we, are we looking for? What, what, yeah. what things in particular do we need to yeah. watch out for? Oh, if we go to this stage, then they might change characters to this, and that's a threat we have to worry about. Yeah, I feel like going through those things together is good, because you want to stay on the same page, and you yep. don't have a coach that keeps everyone on the same page. So you gotta do it yourself. Going to Yoshi's. That's not what I expected. Yeah, again, not what I expected, but... None of this has been what I expected. Like, I expected round two to be round one, and round one to be not there at all. Yeah. But they went for it. And they're, they're sticking to their guns on their characters. So, there is some things to be said for this. Um, oh no, that's oh, so unfortunate. That, that he gets an edge cancelled spare and dies. That's yeah. a spacey life, though. It happens. Ooh, that was a kind of cool uh, yeah. wall jump uh, reverse wave plan. Yeah. It looks pretty frosty. Yeah. You're not actually invincible during that, except for the but six or seven frames of invincibility you have from the wall jump, so it's not actually as good. It's not actually as good, but it's so cool. It's not like a real invincible ledge dash. It just kind of looks like one, and it's an interesting mix-up off of back air dead. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're just going for the smaller black zone. Yeah, I mean, so Falco's gonna get a lot of earlier kills here with just F-Smashes. Ooh! Yeah. But he's just... 
we still struggle. The thing is, they're both gonna die off the top really early. Yeah. Uh, Falco and Chink are both just gonna get up smash. Fox just no back here. Combo. Oh, he misses that tech. Yeah. Well, he won't oh, no. that. Off stage, that's dead. Wow, Kinophobia with two really quick edge guards for two nice yeah. stocks. I like that. It was. I feel like that missed tech was. If you couldn't have read that, like you thought you were gonna go out off of the back air like that, you know. Yeah. Nice little string there. Despite Kinophobia's excellent two stocks right there, you see a lot of dead Falco in this match. That's true. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I feel like this this feels closer than the score looks like right now. Yeah. I mean, if you just look at it. Like the match itself, ignore stock. Yeah, and also it's almost even. Yeah, and also um, Emo Dino did have that unfortunate early SD. So yeah, you like, have to bring. We hadn't had that, yeah. and as long as we stay, we can make it back from this. That's good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That was almost a dead box too. Yeah, I we like um the, the position Kinophobia is in right now. Yeah. Didn't quite close out with the edge guard, but uh. But he locked down the ledge yep. at a good time. Ooh, he's gonna be in a rough position now. Yeah, but that slow oh, get up. Sick. But that slow get up. Oh. That oh. Uh, ledge drop fair, though, from Pinophobia. So that Yoshi technology. So strong. Alright, now they're, they actually are pretty solid in this. If Pinophobia can hold on to the stock like he's doing by the edge right now, exactly what yeah. he needs to be doing, let his low percent teammate go out there. If you can get an early kill, if you can if you can get the kill on the, uh, the box at high percent, oh, now it's really tough. This is gonna now be it's really this tough. Is, this is a mountain, but he can do it. Ooh, okay, back up. Falco is a glass cannon, so he just needs to fire at the right time. Oh, was that the? Oh, okay. If you can get the kill right now, you can get it. Okay, no, no that was smart. That was a, just stay, smart on, stay on the ledge. So smart. All right, now now one mistake means he's dead. Yeah, the foxes are gonna try to be. Mm, this might be it. Yeah, it's, it. it's over. Yeah, that's it. Oh, he's stolen for Randall. Not gonna. Yeah. All right. So SG and Brown sure take that yeah. 3-0. That was, was definitely the closest 3-0 I've seen today. Yeah. Yep. I agree.